New concerns out of North Korea today. Two mobile missile launchers have been positioned on the country's east coast. Pentagon officials say a test launch could come at any time. And this particular missile has a range of about 2,500 miles, putting Japan directly within striking distance. Joel Rosenberg joins us, former aide to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and author of Dead Heat. It's a novel on the conflict in North Korea. Thanks very much for being with us, Joel. If past his prologue, this is just another missile launch and nothing more. What's incalculable, however, is that both leaders, North and South Korea, are new. And to some extent, President Obama has not been tested by crisis. Does that make this all the more dangerous? It certainly does, Greg. And you've got a situation in which North Korea now has had three nuclear weapons tests since 2006. It's not entirely clear whether they have miniaturized uh, the, North, uh, the uh, nuclear warheads and are able to attach them into these ballistic missiles. Some, some experts believe they can, some aren't sure. So it, that, there's a lot of indecision uh, about exactly how to handle it, not knowing if North Korea actually has weapons that they could fire that are nuclear weapons. But you're right, these leaders on both sides are untested. And President Obama has never faced a, nu a nuclear crisis. This is akin to the Cuban Missile Crisis, if it goes much further. Now, hopefully it's just huffing and puffing, right. but there could be a miscalculation here. Sure. There are two countries who are watching these events very, very closely, Iran and Israel. What are they learning? Well, that's right. And, you know, my novel in Dead Heat was about a preemptive nuclear strike against the United States by North Korea. And my current novel, D Damascus Countdown, draws on my experience with Prime Minister Netanyahu about North Korea working closely with Iran and Syria to build nuclear weapons. Here's the risk. If the United States and, our, and the Allies do nothing to stop Iran, North Korea from becoming a full nuclear power, which at this point it looks like there's nothing we will do, well, this sends a huge message to Iran that if it continues on its nuclear weapons bid, no one will stop it except Israel. Israel is the X factor. And the question is whether Netanyahu would consider, and I think he is, launching preemptive military strikes against Iran so Iran can never be in the position that North Korea is now. The U.S. is adopting what some are calling a strategic patience here, and in fact, they backed off the Minuteman ICBM uh, test. And I have to imagine that Israel is watching this very closely. Is it your sense, therefore, that all of these events put together make it more likely that Netanyahu would engage in a preemptive strike against Iran's nuclear facilities? I think it's trending that way, Greg, and that's what's so dangerous. Look. President uh, Obama said in Israel just last month that all options were on the table and that he has put a credible military threat uh, option on the table vis-a-vis -vis Iran. But compare the two situations. The United States is pulling carrier battle groups out of the Persian Gulf region while we're sending B-52s, naval assets, stealth bombers, as well as uh, anti-missile defense systems to the Korean Peninsula and the Pacific. That sends a message that we get the North Korean threat and want to send a message to Pyongyang. But Netanyahu is watching Obama pull assets out of the Gulf region, right. which is leaving Israel feeling very much alone. And that is a dangerous situation given the current moment with Iran. Joel Rosenberg, former aide to Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.